and don't want to panic about not having a drum kit at home, um, you don't need the whole drum kit to be able to do your practice diary. If you look back to some of the videos I've sent you and some of the links, there's the um, drum rudiments, which um, there's an exercise sheet with, and there's videos telling you how to play each one. If you look back through the links I've sent you on ePraise, um, and have a little watch of the videos, and that talks you through each one of those. You don't need a drum kit to be able to rehearse these at home or play them on. Um, you just need a pad or a surface to practice on. This is a drum pad. If you don't have a drum pad, it doesn't matter. It's just um, a bit of wood with a piece of rubber on top of it. You can just practice your different rudiments on, um, which ultimately is going to help you with your drum fills, which I think is an area that you could concentrate on developing. Your, your grooves, your actual drum rhythms are very good, but your drum fills are an area you're always asking for support with. So learning those rudiments are really going to help. If you don't have a drum pad, doesn't matter. You can get any surface that you can bounce your sticks off at home. Chopping board. Yeah, you can still do your... Still practice some of your rudiments and some of those patterns. You're still going to get a bit of kickback, a bit of bounce back off of that. If that's a bit too noisy, if you've got something at home, an old flip-flop, a water bottle. Yeah, hot water bottle. A little bit quieter. If you're really wanting to build up your arms, build up your strength and build up your wrists, just grab a pillow or a cushion. Anything that you can sit and use your sticks with. I know you've got sticks at home, so something that you can sit and practice the rudiments with. That's the beauty of these, you don't need the drum kit at home. All right? So um, I'm gonna stick with drum pad for the moment. For you, for your long-term goal, when you're writing your rehearsal diary, I suggest you write that your long-term goal is to improve your use of drum fills um, around the drum kit, or use of drum fills when I'm playing different songs with my band. Okay, then your short-term goals can be tied specifically to some of the rudiments. So for example, what I'm going to be a short-term goal, um, improve my ability to play flams on the drum kit. Okay, flams would be a good one for you to start with. So for the flams, they're on the sheet, we'll have a look. We're bringing them down both our sticks, but one slightly after the other. Okay, so my main stroke is with my right hand, but my left hand comes down slightly before it. So I get not coming down together, but one slightly before the other. Now notice my right hand, the main stroke is louder than the left. Then I alternate. Right, left, right. Okay, so that's the flam exercise. Practice that with a metronome. So again, you can get lots of free metronome apps online. Um, just have a look in the app store. There'll be lots of different free metronomes you can get. So let me just quickly put one on here. And I'm going to set my metronome, not very fast, it doesn't need to be fast that you do these and rehearse these. So I'm going to set my metronome to, let's say, 90 beats per minute. Okay, in fact, now I'm going to take it slower than that for some of the more technical exercises. 80 beats per minute. And that gives me a pulse to play along to. Okay, so I'm just going to practice my flam in time to that metronome. Now that's a really good rehearsal technique. You can make that one of your short-term goals to use flams on the drum kit. And then in your individual weekly practice, all you're going to write is that this week I've been practicing my flams either on practice pad, pillow, whatever, to build up my strength. Okay. You can combine the flams with some of the other rudiments. So let's take another one, triplets. Okay. Single note triplets, which again you'll find on here. So just playing in groups of three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Each time accenting the first beat. So right, left, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, one, two, three. Always accenting on the one. In time with the metronome, so I'm going one, two, three, one, two, three. Really controlled. Just sit for two or three minutes. Practicing that. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. Bring the metronome slower. So I'm on 80. Let's bring that down. Let's say, let's bring that down to 65 beats per minute. Okay. Cool. Uh, there we go. So a much slower speed. And just practice that playing time. And when you've got the slower speed, then you can speed it up. And then what you can start to do, so let's say that's your second week. So in terms of what you're writing about in your diary, that's your second week. You can then start to add the flams and the triplets together. 
So you can start to combine your different rudiments you've been using to build up drum fills. So rather than just going one, two, three, one, two, three, we had those flams before. So now I can play what's called a flam triplet. That's also on the sheet, I believe it's on the second page of the sheet, okay? That's on ePraise, you can download that to view either on your laptop or your phone. So now what I'm gonna get, let's do that again, 65 beats per minute with the flam. So I'm gonna get So you don't need a drum kit to be able to complete this task, okay? Go through and have a look at some of the rudiments. If you're not sure how they sound, please refer to the video. Some of them look very complicated on paper, but they're really not complicated when it comes to playing them. Um, the single stroke rolls, the ones right at the top, are a really good place to start. Again, looks very complicated, this one here. Looks like a lot of note values. By single stroke, we just mean alternating right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Another short term goal, okay? Just single stroke rolls on a pad. Eventually, you can put a round drum kit. One, two, three, four. Notice how I'm always accenting the first beat just to add interest, to add feel. I'm going to give you a slight extension um, on getting your diary done. Obviously, I don't expect you to rush that, and I appreciate you've just got hold of a laptop. You've got a lot to do, but you must now start weekly um, rehearsing. At a pad, at a pillow, chopping board, whatever you've got at home with your sticks. Um, if you can, video it, like I'm doing here, record it, video it, um, and keep a record of your rehearsal at home. It's good evidence. I'm not going to ask you to send that to me. That's great evidence when we get back to school. We can show that to the examiner and show that you've been working on your drum rudiments. Okay, please don't panic about not having a drum kit. I'm sure you can find a surface at home. Have a chat with mum, dad, whoever's at home, um, about items you can use from around the home. All right, if you've got any questions, message me, um, get in touch. If this has been useful, if you want me to do any more videos like that, let me know. And yeah, I hope you're well.